Hey man, stay safe bro, you already know what's going on man. We got a crazy situation coming out of Jacksonville where Julio Fulio, rising Jacksonville rapper and the top op of Jacksonville was hit up multiple times in his Dodge Charger while driving in the city. Basically got his car sprayed up by bullets, man. It's a crazy situation. But if you know the backstory behind all this, I mean, I guess it's not completely crazy, man. But we're going to get into what's going on right now and everything that went down and the beef that caused this right now. But before we do, I'm going to need you to like, comment, subscribe. We're going to run up this video, man. Make sure y'all check out the merch link in the description at staysafeworld.com. You already know what's going on. Tap in the notification game so whenever I post, y'all tune in right away, man. So let's get into this. It's honestly even crazy that in 2023, Julio Fulio even be in Jacksonville after everything that went down, man. After multiple shootings, mad of his friends, including his little brother getting shot, to his ops basically shooting him and making a song about it. This guy is still in Jacksonville and look at what happened. They found him, man. It's a crazy situation, man. Let's let's get into the details of what happened. So Charles Jones, who performs under the name Fulio, was shot in the foot at a Friday night shooting, according to multiple law enforcement sources. The severity of his injuries is unknown, but people online are saying everything from he died to saying he just got shot once. The incident occurred near the 3100 block of 18th Street West in Jacksonville, a residential neighborhood less than a mile from Paxson School for Advanced Studies. The car he was driving, a black Dodge Challenger, is riddled it looked like a charger i don't know why it says it's a challenger is riddled with bullet holes according to a photograph obtained by first coast news sources tell first coast news that jones is not cooperating with law enforcement he was taken to uf health jacksonville but you know fulio he has a dark past his music celebrates gun violence and the deaths of gang rivals and has been a target of numerous shootings in the past. He was shot in November 8th, 2021 after getting out of his vehicle in the 2000 block of Ernest Street in Riverside. Hours after the shooting, Fulio went live on Instagram saying that he got hit up and he got shot in the foot. And then the same type of thing actually happened in his shooting in Houston where apparently fast money goon shot at him and then rapped about it in who i smoke basically saying that he was looking at his page and saw that he was basically was loafing in houston and went and tried to take him out and hit him multiple times but he survived that but this comes after a lot of beef that's been going on constantly in jacksonville man and the beef has gotten to the point that like the two sides, Julio, and then the other side, Young and Ace, have basically just been trying to destroy each other, and at the same time, basically been destroying the communities around them. Multiple people have died, including the brothers of both of them, to the point that it's like, what is even the point of this beef, man? The beef between the two sides of Jacksonville, people stylize it as KTA versus ATK, has been going on for a number of years, and it's basically between Young and Ace versus Julio Fulio. And a lot of people have basically died over the past that have led up to this point. But it seems that the start of the beef starts all the way back from May 2017 with the killing of Zion Brown. Police announced the arrest after what they call a violent holiday weekend in Jacksonville. But here on the west side, you can still see the product of that shooting, the most violent because six people, six children were inside of this home. And you can see tonight the front window right next to the door is shattered still. Police tell us, though, that this crime happened because someone broke in on the rear of the house. They came through a sliding glass door and started firing shots, according to police. Three young boys boys who were in the house were not hurt, but three other people who were in the house on Jacksonville's west side after a man's home was stormed there and they basically killed him in a home invasion. Brown was Julio Fulio's cousin. Arrested in that shooting though was DeAndre Thomas, who is a part of Young and Ace's ATK game. Both Young and Ace and DeAndre Thomas were basically involved in that incident and got charged and were implicated. After this, Young and Ace was a target of a retaliatory shooting for Brown's death in June 2018 when he and three other teens went to a shopping center to a restaurant to celebrate his brother's birthday. Ace survived after being shot eight times. The three other, including his brother Trayvon Buller, died. Three teenagers shot and killed near one of the busiest shopping centers in Jacksonville, with a fourth tonight still fighting for his life. 
Welcome to First Coast News at 11. I'm Anthony Austin. And I'm Heather Crawford. Thank you for joining us. Tonight, JSO says at least two of the victims were gang members. First Coast News' Julia Janae joins us live now with a clearer look at these lives cut short by this violence. After this, Julio Fulio basically made several posts on social media glorifying the killings and then created a t-shirt, airbrush photo with 23, who is Young and Ace's brother, and basically posted that. But then in 2019, there was another mass shooting at Paradise Gentlemen's Club where Willie Anderson, a rapper known as Boss Goon, was killed. He had just performed at the club. At the same time, family members of ATK rapper Queso, whose name is Hakeem Robinson, were injured in the shooting. And then in 2019, the shooting death of Charles Quinn and McCormick, AKA the KTA rapper who went by the name of Lil Buck, was basically hit up, which followed another hit on KTA a month later in February 2019 with the death of Julio's 16-year-old brother, Bibby, at a Moncrief area apartment complex. On top of that, Julio Fulio and his girlfriend were shot several times in clear attempts to their lives. And then Hakeem Robinson, AKA Queso, celebrated these killings, putting the fallen KTA members in the entitled album, Bibby Out, naming it after Julio Fulio's little brother. Fast forward a couple shooting attempts later, we got Queso getting arrested and getting charged with killing Bibby and Lil Buck and Who I Smoke drops, which basically disses everyone on top of the fact that Julio Fulio dropped a diss track back. Then we got just a couple days ago, Jake Jit, who got hit up in a very similar incident to Julio Fulio, who is a Julio Fulio sort of associate who got hit up and killed on the highway in Jacksonville, which definitely shows that, man, there's so much that goes on in this city that this dude just needs to like leave, man. There's no point of even being here, especially seeing after Jake Jake got hit up that there needs to be some type of time that you take away from this city, man. Like your homie just got sprayed up on the highway and everyone saw that and you're going to be driving around in a car just like him. You need to have a bulletproof whip or something like that. Honestly, I can't even believe that bro is still just driving around with his you know car his same car and everything no bulletproofing no nothing just tinted out thinking that it's all good man ops apparently know where you at and they're gonna find you and as soon as you probably tune in as soon as you touch down in jacksonville they're probably looking for you man it's just a crazy all around crazy situation and i honestly can't even believe that he's able to still be alive you know whoever shot at him definitely had terrible aim and i mean i'm guessing he's not in the best of conditions because of the fact that whoever just posted on his instagram story but they can't say that the city is hating on him because he's been hating on them for a minute dissing ops he most recently dissed his ops he called young and ace a snitch they've been trading diss tracks for years now shooting at each other's family members for years now man you can't really blame the city at a certain point you've got to have some type of personal responsibility what you got to do is leave this city never come back or if you're gonna stay there just bulletproof everything but obviously that's not working man i would just leave and not come back what is even in jacksonville man like what is really in jacksonville that's worth staying there for so long honestly i don't think there's anything there that's worth losing your life over man that you can't get in different cities but you know they miss that home cooking meal and they have family and stuff out there so they try to stay but it's obviously not worth it man but hey let me know in the comments what y'all think about the situation real estate say shit you already know what's going on like comment subscribe man peace